Hey, in this video, I'm going to take a look at this product called Tixio. It allows you to build a start page where you have all your URLs, bookmarks, task lists right there where you can just click on it and quickly get out to the resources that you need. So stay tuned as I set this up. Hey everybody, this is David with another TechSmart Boss video. This product here, Tixio, caught my eye on Product Hunt recently. They were featured. You can see they got a good number of upvotes here. Um, number five product of the week. But they also, I guess they were in the um, Product Hunt Awards. They were one of the products to vote on in terms of productivity tools of the year. Which... It looks like a pretty interesting tool, so I decided to check it out and record a video on it. Essentially what you can do is you can use this as a person or a team, and you can create boards to share links and action items and all sorts of things like that. We'll get into it. And right now, I mean, if you look at the pricing, it's free across the board. And they say that they have a plan, whereas they get more use cases and mature their product, they're going to offer in some paid uh, features, but for now, it's completely free. So you know why not give it a shot so let's go ahead and sign up and take a look at this product and, and just see what it can do so I'm gonna go ahead and sign up I'm gonna log in as a team because I think that is the most I mean this is great for organizing your own personal stuff I'm gonna go ahead and log in as a, in a, as a team as if I were gonna in, invite some of my team members there I'm gonna do tech smart boss as my account web address here and uh, did I okay let's go let's create a new account sign up as a team there we go so you could join in the existing team I'm gonna actually put in my email address at techsmartboss.com hit next alright now I'm gonna pause for a second and go out here and click on this confirmation link so hang tight okay so I've gotten their confirmation link and it brought me now into where I can pick that team address where I was initially so let me go ahead and set this up as my account uh, domain very nice. I like always like the custom uh, subdomains there. So I'll put in my username. Um, I'll just put in my Twitter address here, which I like to use sometimes. And let's go ahead and give it a password. It looks like a lot of these clicks they could kind of compress into one screen, but it's pretty easy so far. And I don't want to save that in company name going to be the same as what I put in earlier and of course you could change it later which is nice all right so now I'm not going to send any invitations the goal is to ultimately get all your team together I guess sharing boards and making boards but I'm going to skip this for now and now it looks like I'm going to log in as my team so you know I would think it would take me right in but I guess it wants me to go through the login process here and actually it looks like I'm in a loop okay here we go so I, I picked my team domain and then I had to sign in once again from that. So a lot of unnecessary steps, I would say, on the onboarding. Definitely, I would recommend that they streamline their onboarding experience to get a person logged in and using their product as fast as possible. So now I'm in the system as a brand new team account. And I, they give me an example board that shows me exactly what their product can do. So that is really neat. And this is kind of the concept is that you can build little organizational widgets here for different tools that may be a project or a team or different applications that you use for different tasks. Uh, and you can see here they got project management, they got a bunch of project management tools, sales. But you can also put in a task list. Just a simple one, just a simple checklist that people can, let's click in here and yeah, it doesn't look like I can click in and add any kind of metadata underneath that. And you can also put in some notes, which is nice. So I'm going to pop up a little message. I'm going to go ahead and close that for now. And then once you make these boards, from what I understand, let's take a look. You can share them with your team, sync them up with your teammates, invite people, share it with groups of people. So that's all very nice. You've got some protection there. Let's take a look at board settings. Uh, you can do all sorts of things like changing color, putting background images. Looks like you can import and export. That's a nice touch there. And then this is where I can pull in. Looks like I can pull in my widgets or I can click on maybe and build uh, widgets on my settings. I'm going to actually build a new board from scratch here. So this looks like the first board. Let's see what's under here. This is just a board's another navigation method there. Let's go ahead and add a new board here. I'm just going to call this uh, podcast posting all the places I use to post a podcast 
let's see what I can do on this board here. This could be something that you could create, share with a virtual assistant or someone that's helping you uh, sort of make, uh, do your, your publishing. And I'm hitting that create and it's not quite doing anything for me here so I'm a little confused on that. Try that one more time. I'm going to hit cancel. See if it actually did create. Nope, it didn't. So, okay, I'm I'm going to try this again. I'm on the, the most current version of Firefox, so it shouldn't be anything too crazy here. I'll just put one word. Well, that is awkward that that button is literally not working for me. Now, what I will say is they do have a Chrome extension, and I'm wondering if this product is going to work a lot better on Chrome. So what I'm going to do is pause this video again. I'm going to bring up Chrome, and I'm going to try this again, so stay tuned. All right, so I'm over here in Chrome now. Let's go ahead and log in once again and give this a shot and see if we get a little bit different result than Firefox. You know, I, I did just update to the very latest version of Firefox. I still think their product should work there, but maybe they just haven't had a chance to find out that little bug there. So let's go ahead and add a board to podcast. I won't give it a purpose, create, and look at that. So clearly we found something with Firefox that they did not like that seems to work in Chrome. And I'm sure they're going to fix that, but that is a little awkward um, if you are a Firefox or, or a different browser. So now I see a big plus button down here, and I'm assuming, yeah, that's where we're going to be able to add in uh, different things. So let's add in some stuff. Let's add in the bookmark. So let's call this my, um, you know, sound, uh, podcasting tools just as an example and it gives you the chance to pick a size let's do a medium size I could do some medium size icons okay that's fine detailed list medium size that's nice let's save this and it puts it there uh, looks like I can resize this on the fly there let's see what I can do here looks like I can add now so there you go it's pretty simple let's put in soundcloud.com slash techsmartboss and hit add there it is. Um, let's just for, I don't really use this, but let's just put in iTunes.com as an example of how we can add multiple things. And there you go. Apply that. And it's just that simple. Now I've got the ability to click here and it should open me up a new tab. And there it goes. It takes me right out to my Tech Smart Boss where I can start to do things. Let's add another thing. Let's add a checklist. I'll call this To Do List. All right, so task might be upload new podcast. And then we might want to embed SoundCloud to WordPress site. And you get the kind of the concept there that I'm making different tasks that I can have someone follow a checklist. Now, one negative I would say on this, I don't see any method to make it a recurring task or, you know, have this repeat. This is really very simple type of use case here. Let's go ahead and see what else we can do. Uh, that was the checklist notes. What's rich notes? Um, instructions. Let's just put that. And this is probably what you think it is. I could type some instructions. Do this and then do that and put some formatting on it. So pretty simple stuff. Now I can, let's see, if I put this into move, okay, this is how you can move it around to different boards. I can copy, I can share always, uh, looks like from that particular place. And if I go to settings, this is gonna let me change up that color. Let's actually change the color. See what that, you know what, I like my favorite color. I, I remember hex codes because I use it so much. This is my Yerby blue color. And we'll put that in there. So there we go. Look at that. It made that as the background. And if you remember, we could also set a background image in there as well. So I can add as many boards as I want here. Um, that's kind of the concept. I can switch between my boards. There's a lot of tab navigation and navigation systems there. And I think this product is, is going to got a pretty aggressive roadmap. And they're going to mature and do a lot of cool things with this. So if you are looking for just a, a really drop simple, easy way to organize your workspace, this might be a good fit for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If uh, you did, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this tool, if it's something worth spending your time on or not. 
Uh, also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Facebook page so you can get more videos and information from TechSmart Boss. And head on out to TechSmartBoss.com. You'll see that we're doing a lot more out there as well. Until then, stay tuned for the next video.